Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Intermediate System to Intermediate System ISIS lab number one. In this lab, we're going to take a look at the basics of ISIS. So first, I'm going to get, explain our network topology. We have two routers, router one and router two. They are connected together via the 12 network. Router one is the dot one IP address, and router two is the dot two. We are using logical systems in this lab. Router 1 and Router 2 belong in the same Juniper router. They're connected together via logical tunnels. So if you're not familiar with logical systems or how they work, you can watch my logical systems labs where I explain in detail how to set them up. What we're doing in this lab is we're creating logical systems and we're just going to bridge the connection together using logical tunnel interfaces. Router 1 is the LT120.12 and Router 2 is using the LT120.21. We also have a loopback 0 0.1 on R1 with the 1 and 11 networks, both slash 24s. On Router 2 we have interface loopback 0 0.2 with the 2 network and the 22 network, both of those as well slash 24s. And what you're going to see below those is you see a very long number, might not look familiar. This is what they call a net address within IS, IS, and I'm going to explain this whole address in detail in this lab. So the first thing, let's go ahead and just start by explaining some of the basics of IS, IS. It, started by, it was started by supporting what's known as CLNP, our Connectionless Network Protocol, IP support, which we're going to use in, in our lab. This was added later on. It is a link state protocol similar to OSPF. It uses PDUs, protocol data units, for network information. And there's multiple types of PDUs. You have hellos, you have LSPs, you have complete sequence number PDUs, and also partial sequence number PDUs. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to break down some of those and explain to you why those are used and in what situations. ISIS also runs the shortest path first, our SPF algorithm, just like OSPF, to find the best path through the network. And what we're going to see is the first thing let's go ahead and talk about in this lab that is unique with ISIS is that we have this very long address. And what we're going to see with ISIS is that we only need one of these configured per router. And this is, again, to support ISIS. This address is called the network entity title, our net address. And the reason we see this is that because ISIS was initially designed for the OSI network protocols and not TCP IP support. Like we talked about earlier, IP support for ISIS was supported later on. And what we're going to see is the first from